My sheep had been at the Beckhams for just two weeks when their estate workers made a terrible discovery. Hi, right, Gordon, it's Clark. Got a bit of bad news for you, mate. Phil went over to check the sheep this morning and couldn't find one. So if it's escaped. Field, no, he's looked on the field and he's found one and he's, uh, he's dead, mate, I'm afraid. He's dead? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, not a lot left of it at all either. And unfortunately, we found that he's the female as well. Fucking hell. I'm absolutely fucking gobsmacked. And it was definitely Charlotte. Yes, yeah, definitely. Fuck, mate. Would a dog do that, do you think? Well, we could just pursue something of a bigger nature as obviously got a hold of it and killed it. Fucking hell. I can't believe it after just fucking seeing how happy they are. And yes. Ask the vet to come down and just, you know, have a look. At least like that, we'll find out exactly how she was killed or eaten. Will do. I'll get back to you about it. Damn. Huh? Fucking hell. Bad news. Huh? Later that day, the boys called in vet Helen Lee yeah. and she rushed to the scene. I think you're going to be able to find out what's killed it. We can try. I think we'll have to take the carcass away to do a post-mortem. I asked Clark to put the rest of my flock in a safe place. They put them in the Beckham stable block where they could be locked up at night. Charlotte was born at May's sheep farm in Wales, so I called him to break the news and ask if he'd ever experienced anything like this before. I haven't mentioned the town. I haven't even, you know, started to think of how I'm going to break that one to the kids. Does that happen up there? I'm afraid it's a part of farming. You've got to be, you've got to be used to things like that happening a bit. Uh, it's not easy, but you've got to take the good and the bad, really. Uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. But when you've got a flock of three, four hundred sheep, fine. But when you've got four... Yeah, so you've got to keep your head up and look after the, you know, keep going and look after the other. Just when I thought I'd had enough surprises, Victoria's father sent me a newspaper which deepened the mystery. This is recent. This is a piece in the local newspaper of a possible wild cat on the loose. I heard back from the vet. Worryingly, her autopsy couldn't rule out a big cat attack. So she sent the results to a specialist forensic scientist for a second opinion. With so many questions, I had to find out what so happened to Charlotte. So I returned to the Beckham's field. Yeah, and this is where you found her? The uh, place was here, entrails were sort of going around there, and then the actual rest of the body was pulled over to just outside that longer grass there. I invited Colin Elcombe, a big cat keeper at the local wildlife park, to join us to see if he could lend some insight. The only way we could find out what had killed Charlotte was to view some footage in detail. Nothing could have prepared me for this. God, I mean, the meat's been stripped off. Oh, it's been absolutely yeah. savaged. I absolutely. Mean, would a dog do that? It's very extreme for a dog. Vet Helen Lee had received a second post-mortem report that morning. I've got the report from the um, pathologist at the Veterinary Laboratories Agency. She actually um, sought advice from a full-time forensic veterinary pathologist up really? at Edinburgh University. So yeah. it's going right to the top to try and get the answers for you. He confirmed that predation by a large cat cannot be excluded in this case given the method of killing by dislocation of the neck and the removal of large portions of the body. Yeah, I mean, that's a very intense report. But it is, yeah. They're not ruling out a possible cat. Mm. There's lots of speculation about so-called big cats being around in Britain. Pumas, lynx, they're the possible cats that yeah. people claim to see a lot of. So, I mean, it's such a savaged exactly. attack and yeah. stripped of the carcass, hardly any flesh left. You're saying it's been um, strangled, yes. a bit of bite around the neck, and which is classic for a, for a cat kill. 